Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, today I'm really excited because we're continuing on with the multiplication facts. We're going to be moving from five groups of to six groups of and seven groups of. And we're going to be working with it. We're going to use some manipulatives. We're going to play a game. Um, I'm going to show you some standard algorithm stuff. But what's really important is that this builds on from the previous lesson and it makes it so that you're learning so that you can memorize these facts. And you really need to memorize these facts to be successful in middle school and high school and such because when you're able to automatically come up with the answers, then you're going to be able to have a lot more time to do the rest of the, the higher math problems. Ready to get started? Okay, so I want to tie this to the previous one. So before we had five groups of something, and I want to see here, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, so there's six, and I'm going to, let's do five groups of six. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we have these five groups of six, and if you notice, when I put them together, again, we have one, two, three, four, five, right? And one, two, three, four, five, six. If you look at the indentations in these blocks, it could be a matrix or it, what, it, what else do you call it? An array. So we have this array or a matrix. And so no matter what, if I turn it like this to here, you're going to get the same answer. So we can count so we can count this right here this is if we're going with 5 so 5 10 15 20 25 30 turn it around we have 6 12 18 24 30 you see how when you start learning their, your math multiplication facts you're going to you can go back and you're going to be learning some along the way to the other numbers so by the time you get up to your sevens, eights, and nines, and, and, and up, you're going to already have a lot of those facts done. Okay, let's move on. So, we're going to play a little bit of a game. And what I like doing is, is playing a game with a piece of dice, and we know that we're going to have six groups of something. So, let, let me. Oh, so six groups of two. That's kind of easy because if I have. Uh, there we go. There's two, four, six. 8, 10, and 12. So I have three groups and another three groups. So there's six groups. And we can count by our twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We can look at it as a matrix as well. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoa! There's Actually, there, there, there could be two groups of six or six groups of two. So, you see all right, let's try another one. I'm going to try to get a higher number. Oh, another two. Let's try another one. Oh, there we go. Six groups of six. Let's do that. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, there's six. There's another six. There's three sixes, four sixes, five sixes, and six sixes. Now, we can divide it up however we want. We could have uh, three groups of six and three groups of six. We can have it to where it's two groups of six, two groups of six, two groups of six. Think about it. How, how can you best look at this to um, understand what you have? But wait! We already know that there's five, what five groups of six is, right? That's 30. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 30 right here. There's 30. We, you know that. And then you have one more group of 6 to make 6 groups of 6. So you count on 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. There you go. Hey, you see how that goes? Uh, it's something that it just it's going to start becoming automatic. And I want you to really work on that. Play a game. Have fun. You know, ask your mom and dad to come up with something. Say, hey, mom, dad, or brother, sister, give me a, a group of six that's less than ten. 
and they can go eight. You go, oh, wait a minute. I can do eight groups of six. So we have two, four, six. So two, four, six, and eight. Huh. You already know what six groups of six is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? That's 36. You can count on or just, you know, just say, oh, wait a minute, 36, uh, let's break it up a little bit. That makes 40. And then how many blocks do you have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight here. So 40 plus eight is 48. Everything builds on one another. All right, let's move on to, we're going to do seven groups of something. Now, if you recall, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say, let's, yeah, let's, 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 I'm going to build on from this. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And, and I'm going to have, I'm just working on this. I want to make it so that, so that you have a better understanding. I want you to have a, an understanding, a, a thorough understanding of what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I need seven here, so there we go. So I have seven groups of five, so one, two, three, four, five. So wait a minute, did you already master your, five, your fives, your multiplication facts for five? Oh because we can turn it around and say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can have five groups of seven, and you already know what that is. But here's another way to look at it is that I can say, well, wait a minute. Uh, I do have seven groups of five, or I can turn it around and have it as five groups of seven. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Boom, mind blown. Let's switch it up a little bit. I want to add some more. So I'm going to add some here. And you see how easy it is? I, this is one of the things I like about these types of blocks. It could be Legos, it could be something else, is I can quickly change that, that array or matrix to become what I need for the problem. Okay, so now, Let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven. Ooh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I need one more group. See, I make a mistake sometimes, and that's okay because when I make a mistake, I grow something in my brain called a synapse. And you too can grow synapses, and that's how we learn. We learn from our mistakes. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven groups of seven, right? So, but, remember, if you went through your sixes, okay, and you say, well, wait a minute, I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of seven. Hmm, what is that? Well, let's switch it around. Now, and I can say, well, wait a minute, there's six here, 12, we already know what six and six is, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times six is 36 plus another one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And then I have another seven. 42 plus seven is going to be 49. So seven groups of seven is going to be 49. You see how we're working that? Go with it, do what you need to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a different perspective. I'm gonna show you some standard algorithms, some little different ways to do it. Um, using the manipulatives is great, but when you start work, you need to try to transfer that to paper. So let's work with five groups of six. Because remember, we, we wanna tie your previous work into this. So five groups of six, what does that equal? Hmm. Well, I can come over here and just say, well, there's one group of six, two, 
three, four, five. So there's five groups of six. These two, six plus six, you know that one. That's going to be 12. And then 12 plus six is going to be 18. 18 plus six right here, let's just do that. It's going to be 24. And then 24 plus six is going to be 30. Okay. Now, so we know this is 30. There's a property. There's something that we can do with this too. So we can say this is six groups of five. And that's going to equal to 30 as well. Okay. Build on what you know and then continue on. Now, wait a minute. So if I have six groups of five, what if I have six groups of six? Well, I already know that five groups of six is equal to 30. If I add another six, so if I'm just, in essence, I'm just adding one more to that, so that's going to be equal to 36. Okay? I want you to work out your way. All right, mathematicians, let's move on to something a little more challenging. So I want to work on seven groups of nine. Whoa, Mr. Woods, we haven't done that high yet. I know, but you can build on what you already know. Use your prior knowledge. You've been working on this for a while. You have, you've done your facts from zero all the way up to five, and then we were getting to did some sixes, and then now sevens. You've got uh, seven times six, and or seven groups of six, as well as seven groups of seven. So now we're going to do seven groups of nine, and I think you're going to see a pattern emerging. You're going to have some fun with this one. I like it. So what I want to do first is let's do a number line. Okay, let me draw this out. And we have seven groups of nine, so how many hops do we need to make? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, for each hop, we're going to do, we're going to add nine, so plus nine. Now listen very carefully to the terminology I'm using. I'm going to say seven times nine, or seven groups of nine. Same thing, okay? So if I say, for the one hop, that would be one times nine. Ooh, one, seven times nine, one times nine. So one times nine is, and that's going to be nine. Okay, two hops. We're adding another nine. I'm not going to do it for each one here, writing that out. I'm just going to do a little dot showing that we've done it. So two nines, so nine plus nine is 18. Let's draw 18. And then three times nine, so three nines. So we can build on from that. So we went, wait a minute, we have 18. I'm not sure, Mr. Woods, so three nines is going to be 18 plus, let's do plus 10, so there's 28, because that's easy to do, and then since we added one, we want to take one off at the end there, and that'll be 27, okay? So there's 27. Now, we have four times nine. Well, we can build on, we can do the 10 and other things, but we already know what two nines are, that's 18, so if we add two nines with two nines, that's going to be 18 plus 18, that's going to be 36. Hmm, are you seeing a pattern emerge here? Take a look at the numbers, just, I just want you to look at these here and think about it, think, just get, put a little bit of thought into it. Okay, so we have 1 times 9, 2 times 9, 3 times 9, 4 times 9, 5 times 9. See, we're getting close to that 7. So 5 times 9. So 5 times 9, we can add another 9 to this. Uh, so 36 plus 9 is, that's going to be 45. Oops, I made a mistake. You see, 
I still make mistakes, and it's okay. So, here we go. Let's do this. There's 45. Okay, so now we have 6 times 9. Well, wait a minute. If you've done your 6 facts, you should already know that. And that's going to be 54. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. 54. Next one is going to be 7 times 9. That's what we have here, 7 times 9. So add another 10. That's going to be 64 minus 1 is 63. Wow, Mr. Woods, that's pretty cool. That's right. I really like this, but remember what I asked you earlier about the pattern here. See the pattern? Well, look at this. They, all the numerals add up to 9 up to this point here. Do you think uh, seven time, I'm sorry, 9 times 8, if we had it the other way, would be something different you know, over here? So 7 times 9. So we have 9, 18. Well, wait a minute. 1 and 8 add up to 9. 2 and 7 add up to 9. 3 and 6 add up to 9. 4 and 5 add up to 9. 5 and 4 add up to 9. 6 and 3 add up to 9. So now... You almost already you already already know your your nines, okay? So keep working on it. I want you to move forward with this and uh, work on your facts from zero to at least ten. Work on it. I know you can do it. You're gonna you already almost have almost all of them done, <clears throat> and concentrate on the ones that you don't know. If you want to challenge yourself, you want to extend this. Go up to twelve, okay? What this is, is learning your multiplication facts is a foundation for higher mathematics. You need to automatically just know these facts. Just boom, just go, oh, 7 times 9 is 63. I just know that because I memorized it. it. A lot of mathematics earlier was a lot of strategies and other things like that. But when it comes down to uh, multiplication and division, you're just going to need to automatically know how to do it because higher level math is going to be demanding and you're not going to be able to have the time to go through and do branching and other things like that or even this number line you need to just know your facts work on it I know you can do it and remember math fluency replaces math anxiety like share comment and subscribe to Mr. Woods teaches